Hey guys, so I've had a couple people ask me how I have done our Discord for some of our um, servers and I was just going to share that to hopefully make it a little bit easier. Um, so one of the most important things is that you use the Smoogle translator and you also have to have the premium which is five dollars a month and then you can be able to set up your discord to automatically translate um, one channel to another channel automatically without having all the clutter and all the um, reactions with the flags and things like that so it's super helpful especially if you have multiple languages in your discord and so i'm just going to kind of share and if you have any questions, just post a comment. I'll be happy to kind of help you. So this is just kind of a server that I have just set up. And so you can see that there's really nothing here. And what I usually do in mine is I just make a separate channel for setting up uh, the translator. So in each channel, you need to make sure that you have the permissions set and that you have the Smoogle Translator obviously in your channel. They need to be able to view it. They don't have to manage it or anything like that, but they have to be able to post messages and I usually just go through and set it up to do pretty much anything. They're not going to have access for, you know, anything else. So it's not too much of an issue. Um, and you want to make sure that you do it. Usually I have roles set up so I can just select the um, specific role. But for just for this, I'm just going to do it specifically for a member instead of a role. So give me a few minutes, I'll get it all set up. Now also, um, just something else, you do have to be an admin in order to do this. So you can't be any other role that has to have that admin selected in order to be able to do that. Okay, so that should have all of the channels set up to do that. And so then I'm going to go over to our new one. And what I usually do is I set this one so that nobody sees it. Again, you don't have to. You can use whatever you want to do. But I usually just go in and I just set it so that nobody can see it because it's just an annoying channel and every time you do stuff it's going to just do pop-ups so setting it this way where only in, in my servers I basically have it set so that the officers can also do it but that's you know obviously a choice of yours again or you can just set it up for admins to see but it's just a muted for me it's just a muted channel so 
Um, a couple things that you're going to have to do is link different channels to each other as well as turn on your translator for every channel. So here I just set up some of the common ones um, we use, as, but I didn't do all of them. And I think in our server, I think we have like six different languages, five, something like that, five extras. So again, it comes in super helpful whenever you're dealing with a lot of different languages. So first thing that you're going to do is you're going to turn on the auto translate to all of your languages. And you can also see a list of the commands in this and I'll post the links as well um, but you can see just the different features as well as you can see the different languages whenever you get into some of it as well so we'll go ahead and get this started so just bear with me give me a few minutes and you will kind of see how to do it and you're going to want to turn on the languages, so here, so we have English, Spanish, Russian, French, and Polish. So you're going to want to set up every language in every channel. So we will start with English, and we're just going to start from there. So you're just going to TR question mark auto all space your language space hashtag, and then you're going to just start tagging your channels. And I forgot to add our little translator bot in here. And again, without that, you won't be able to do anything. All right, so let's try this again. I usually will copy and paste it so that it makes it a little bit faster. And I actually learned this from another state and I'm on their discord and so they actually showed me so sharing is caring.
Okay, so once you have all of your languages set, um, you can check it to make sure by typing in your auto all and then status. And you should have all of yours. And so we have five languages channels, five language channels. And then you can see that each one has five translations. Now, if you were to go and type in here, it's going to translate in every language. And so this is where you can see that it's just a little bit irritating and um, you want to make sure you never forget to do the next step. So that is the first step. So the second step is now you're going to link it and so that way it'll start translating from one channel to the other channel automatically. And so for this one, we're going to use TR question mark link. And so now this one's actually pretty simple. You're just going to start linking every channel to each other. And then after you do that, so you're going to, whichever one that you're going to end in. So this one is Spanish. So you're just going to put the language that you want it to translate to after that. So the last one is the language. And you're going to have to do this for everyone. And I usually just go down the list and make it easy. Now, so if we were to check it, you can do the same thing. Type in your link and then status. And you can see that for English, it's going to link it. And you should have four for each one. And then if you were to go and test it in here, you'll still have a little bit, but it should all automatically translate into your other channels. Now, if somebody was to type in here, it's not, it's gonna just translate in here because we have not linked the Spanish channel, channel sorry, into the other channels. So, and you can see that it's not gonna translate in here because we haven't translated, or the uh, linked Spanish to English. So now we're going to just keep on going and link up the other channels to make that problem go away. Obviously, it's not going to do anything if you forget <laughs> the command.
so this should be the last one. So I do recommend checking it in here before you go and start typing in there because that way you can just again double check make sure everything's linked up um, it is also a good thing to either kind of mute your server for a little while uh, and remove what people can see so that way it makes it a little bit easier and they don't see or they don't keep typing and then your translations are going kind of haywire just depends on how fast you can be with it Let's see, so we should have four for each one, so it looks like they should all be set up. And so the best thing to do is just go back in and do a test and see if it will translate to each one. And so you can see that it all popped up in every single one. And you can also, again, test it in your other languages make sure that they're going and this is what I kind of usually do just again you want to make sure that it is happening now the other good thing is that if somebody types in one of the channels for instance so if they were to type in another channel and in a different language so if they were to type in English into the French channel it will still automatically translate uh, into French for you and it still does bring it back into the other channels as well so that is helpful as well um, now it won't translate into the English channel because you typed in English in another channel so Something to keep in mind, but you can actually also do that as well. Actually, because you did type, so if you type in one language, it won't translate into the language channel, if that makes sense, I guess. So you can kind of see how that is so that should pretty much be it and again i would always recommend just muting this channel because it will get super annoying as you're doing that you can see that there's quite a bit of just chatter in here so but the good thing about that is that it does help from um, doing the flags and things like that. Now, they still can respond or react, I guess, to a post. And so it will still translate in there. So if you don't have something that's kind of common, um, you can still do the reaction. Now, if you already have your server set up, you can actually go and add another language if you choose to. You would just, you know, add your um, new channel and then just do the same steps. But again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will try and help. Thanks.